I went to the mental dialogue group where we discussed different mental disorders and reflected on how it made us feel and what we have and well, not exactly what we have but different things that could be on campus. Um, I believe we did achieve true dialogue. We communicated as a group, sat in our little circle, and our group leader was pretty good. She was helpful and she kind of led the dialogue on pretty well. We did have a lot of communication going on in our group. So that was pretty good. Um, it was pretty, it was true dialogue, I thought. Everyone was pretty active in there. Um, there were some main active voices in our group, and we had some quiet people. There were, there were reserved people. Um, there were people who felt very strongly about the subject, people who suffer from the, sub the subject, and just people who kind of were more listening. Um, I felt that I was kind of in between. I would listen, and then I would pitch in to the group. But uh, I did learn a lot from it and kind of was more active and more reserved at the same time, just depending on each subject that we went through. Uh, our speaker was very knowledgeable about it, so that helped in part, playing in part of our dialogue as well. Um, the dialogue is a component of C1000. I mean, it kind of opened me up to what the university is like. Our speaker kind of like showed us what could be going on in the university, what isn't going on in the university, how it was the happiest university for a while for the student body, but otherwise there are mental disorders going on there and depression and sometimes the students don't really understand what's going on. Um, the dialogue is a it was helpful. I got to know some people who are coming in there in the same situation as me but at the time I didn't really see fit the actual point of the C1000 because we kind of just went in there to the dialogue and we just picked a topic, jumped right into the topic and had no really real place to relate it into the lives or to the university. But afterwards it was a good experience. It's kind of like a, the other classes that you'd have to take that aren't part of your major but you still need to take them to learn about certain things. The mental disorders were very interesting because I can relate that to life, but I don't know whether or not that would be helpful in my life right now. I guess it helps in thinking that everybody is stressed out, everybody has have anxiety, not to the point where it's a major disorder, but it does come across a lot of college students' lives. So we talked about some places that we could go to that would help with our anxiety or stress in the university. Um, talked about different disorders. But we went over a lot of points that it is a dialogue, what a dialogue is, and what we need to do in our group that we went to. It, um, I found it is useful overall. I found out what I was going to expect. I found out that the student body isn't as happy as they're claimed to be. I didn't know they were supposed to be number one, then moved down to number six since we were last pulled in there. But I'm not really sure why that would be. Um, there is 
That was pretty interesting. I found it very interesting. The time went by really fast in the dialogue. But otherwise, I overall enjoyed it after I found it um, more dynamic and useful than I thought it would originally be.